wanted to show you how I coil the lines on my boat and what you end up with is this nice neat package and not a single twist in this entire line. So first I'm going to coil the line the way that the majority of people coil it and you can see that I'm making nice large uh, very organized loops but what I'm also doing by coiling it this way is I have to put a half a twist in each time that I make a loop. So two loops equals one full twist in that line. And you can actually see as I'm coiling this, because I'm twisting it, you can see it's I'm having to shake out all the little uh, twists in the line as I gather it. So this looks really nice and it hangs just as well as the method I'm going to show you next. But the problem is when you're coiling it, it takes more time to twist the line. And when you're uncoiling it, you have a line that has several twists in it. The last step here is the same for both methods. So I'll just quickly finish this uh, bundle off and I'll explain it in the next clip on what I'm doing there. So starting at the end without the shackle, I'm going to hold the line palm up in my hand and that's the hand that's going to hold the bundle. My other hand is palm down and I stretch my arms out full to get a, a length of it and I just drop it into my hand that's holding the bundle and each time I do this you can see it forms a figure eight uh, pattern in the bundle and each time you can see that line crisscrossing itself represents a half a twist that would be going into the line itself So this is an easier way, you don't have to do any twisting with your fingers and you just grab a full length, drop it into your hand, let that line overlap on itself at the bottom. There's a couple twists still in here from having uncoiled it uh, on the previous clip there. This is my spinnaker sheet, so it's quite long. And now I'm at the end here, so what I do is I turn my hand around, I grab the loose end, I pull it in front of the bundle, and I hold it with my pinky. So I do three or four loops around the whole bundle. Each time I just grab it with my pinky and hold it. And then I put a loop in that last tail there, pull it through the top of the bundle and over top, drop it back down and then I pull the tail in tight and that's it now to undo it obviously you just pull that little loop over top of the bundle pull it through and this is why I have the shackle at the tail end because the spinnaker sheets really long and I just undo those three or four wraps and I'm gonna take the shackle and it attaches to the port side of the boat. I usually have my setup on that side. So I just attach it on the, the lifeline there. Just get it about uh, above the uh, bowsprit there. And now I've got the bundle in my hand. And I can actually just walk the bundle back. and just drop the line onto the deck as I go and there's no twists in that line so I've rebundled the line using that first method where I have to put a half twist in each time and now I'm going to pull it through a block and you'll see that for the first 
about the third of the bundle, it's going to pull through the block no problem. But it's not going to be very long before I run into a problem just like this. That's because as I'm pulling this line through there and passing through the block, it's becoming more and more twisted because it has to catch up. And because I haven't taken those twists out of the line. Of course this is a problem because nearly every line on the boat is going to run through a block or a pulley or uh, a clutch or something. So before you do that you have to make sure that the line is completely twist free. And look at all the strain that's being caused on that block every time it runs into a twist it can't pull through. And of course the whole bundle that's now on the floor is still twisted. So here I've made a new bundle using the method that I use. And I'm going to pass it through the same block. And you can see as I pull it through the block, there's no twists, there's no strain on the block. It's pretty much effortless. And all that line that's landing on the floor is also twist free. So if this line has to go back through the block the other way, there will be no issues as well. And you can also use the same technique when you have your lines coming on the bulkhead here and hanging off of a winch. So the hand that's going to hold the bundle again is palm up. The hand that gathers the line is palm down. And I'm just doing a figure eight pattern around the winch and through my hand. This is a fairly short line, so this won't take long. And that's it. If you have a little bit extra, you can make a smaller figure eight. So here I'll just quickly demonstrate the difference between wrapping this line around the winch using the method where you have to twist. This, I'm doing this about as fast as I can right now. And I'm putting a half twist in each time. And that's about as fast as I was able to do that. So I'll just remove that little bundle and I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to coil it using that figure eight method. If you need lines put away in a hurry out of the cockpit, it's a perfect method for that. Well I hope everyone enjoyed seeing this method of coiling a line and that uh, the benefits are obvious. So if you have never tried this method, I recommend go out and give it a try and see what you think. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video on how to coil a line with no twists. And I just wanted to mention there's some other great videos out there. And one of my favorite channels is by Mads Dalkey. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Mads. You can find him on my main page on the right hand side under featured channels. So be sure to check him out.